another person needs you all's advice i really want to appreciate you all for taking your time to advise one seriously it's not easy for some people some people are going through a lot guys you will not understand their pain until you are in their shoes okay so if you have any question you can email me or send me message on my facebook messenger okay this lady she's south african okay and she got married to a white guy he's um this uk guy um there was a time she posted a picture on instagram she's my friend on instagram i noticed she removed those pictures every pictures with her husband and then i asked i don't know what happened did i ask her or she just told me she started telling me that she cannot lie you see in this life it's good to be real don't live an insta lie life or instagram life don't be like those people that when you see couples or couples picture on instagram you'll be like oh my cute couples couple crush and my best couple my no and stop tapping from people's blessings because you don't know what they are going through not everybody have this heart to 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 be saying the truth some people are fake they can do anything for the gram even though it's killing them they can just do it that is why i like using myself as an example the reason why so many people don't like me is because my spirit irritates them I don't like saying where fake people are. If I notice you are fake, the way I will just disconnect myself from you. So this lady was not, I like, do you know one thing I like? I've not met her. We're just um, Instagram friends, okay? We've not met. But she's so truthful. She told me, sis, I cannot continue lying. I cannot continue posting um, pictures of me and my husband knowing that we are not happy. I went ahead and said, do you know we always quarrel? We always fight every day because of insecurity issues because he keeps saying that men keep looking at her and why would men be looking at her all those stupid stupid things you know she says she can't deal with this anymore she can't handle it anymore so guys um i really really understand her i gave her an advice then i told her to um, not to give up on this her marriage because our african people once they see something good happening to someone, huh? they will start fighting you spiritually. I'm telling you the truth. So this is the reason why you have to be prayerful. I was saying this because I even shared my own um, experience with her. After the long distance relationship with my husband and I came to live with him, we had almost similar issues. Because when I came in, the same thing happened, the insecurity stops. I did not let everyone know about it. It's just few my friends and my mom those were the people i told about it so you know my thoughts were like hey if i should leave this marriage um people will start laughing at me she be is that girl that is doing shakara on facebook instagram eh eh it's good for her guys no marriage can just walk like that you have to put in prayers except it's not the will of god if it is not the will of god it won't happen at the first place i'm telling you the truth do you know that my my marriage how my husband stopped his insecurities issues how he started becoming a loving husband how he became the best husband in the world i'm not surprised but i'm still surprised because the only person that can do that is god i don't wish people bad I don't hate people even though you're my enemy I will still be wishing you well but don't just be close to me I can unfollow you on social media I don't want to be seeing your post because if I see it it will trigger those things I don't wish people evil but why would you wish me evil why would you go to the extent of doing voodoo or juju to to um, destroy my happiness that is why it's good to be prayerful except it's not the will of God if you pray just leave the rest for God my mama prayed, I have friends, my friends prayed for me and my marriage worked. So the same thing I told to this South African lady, she should pray about her marriage. In fact, I prayed with her on WhatsApp. I called her on, on video and then I prayed with her. I told her to just go back to her husband. They should talk about it because in every problem you need to talk about it. You don't need to keep quiet. One person must agree and the other person must disagree. Just accept, say, eh. 
Yeah, just be the winner. Let there be peace, Gongo. You understand? That was what I told her. So we prayed for some few minutes. After praying, she spoke to her husband. And guys, they were all right. Honestly speaking, they became happy. Taking her out in, going to um, dates, you know. I was seeing her post. She started posting him again on her Instagram. She was so happy. I like when people are happy. I don't know why. I love it when people are happy. I don't know this lady, but after praying for her, she said she had peace of mind. She became happy. And her husband, I even spoke to him seven video call. We all became happy. Today, this evening, she messaged me that they are no more together. Oh, oh God. I felt bad. I really, really felt bad. She said um, she just realized that the man did not divorce his wife because the man has been promising her that he would divorce his wife, divorce his wife. He just gave her an engagement ring. And they keep fighting and arguing. So she can't continue with this. So that was why she left him. She's still thinking maybe she should give the guy a chance again. The man a chance. But guys, to me, I don't think this, this is the will of God. He has not divorced his wife and he has engaged you. You see? He started with it lies. He's looking for who to blame, who to who will become his prey. What do you guys think about this whole thing? I noticed the other day she removed her Instagram post again. She said she cannot be lying on Instagram because she's not happy with the man. So she doesn't want people to be looking up to her and think that she's happy in her marriage. So she took it off. Guys, those kind of people are rare. Very, very, very rare. But she never told this to anybody. But she's telling me this now. Some men are liars, so. They have their intentions. They just want to tell you to keep you. You don't, you don't know where to move. You don't know if you should move forward, if you should move back, if you should move to the side or to the left. They just want to stag. Every boyfriend that will make you stagnant. Holy Ghost fire. You see this marriage of a thing, huh? There's no place that is easy. Okay? So many people that made their marriage and relationship work, they put in much effort and they were praying. And some that the marriage ended, it's not as if they were not praying or they did not put effort or they did not try their best. What I came to realize is it's just grace. So, especially people from Africans, when they see your mar an African woman is married to a white man, do you know what their brain tells them? Oh, she's automatically rich. They start looking at you one kind, one kind. They start sending you a message. Please send them money. So people were asking me for money on my Facebook. If I have the money, I will give them. Honestly. But the thing is that for, for the moment, I don't have a job. It's my husband that, that does everything. Rent, food, transportation, miscellaneous. But my family back home. It's my husband that does everything. So do you want me to just take from the little that has been sent to them give and give to you and when i said i tell you that i don't have you look at me as being stingy or i don't want to help or i have i don't want to help or is it because you have seen my wonderful post because me I, I love posting pictures on facebook so people should not think that marriage is a bed of roses some people will tell you the truth what they are passing through and some people will lie they want to die in it like this my sister hmm? The reason why I'm even close to her is because she's so straightforward. Honestly, you don't know me. I don't know you. But you just tell me everything that you can't keep posting those pictures on, on Instagram. People will be thinking you are happy in your relationship. Meanwhile, you are dying in silence. How many people can do that? How many people can give up? Some people don't want to quit because they don't want they don't know what we the Instagram or Facebook family would think about them. I let them think, let them talk. Who cares? It's you that is suffering it, not them. After talking, they'll just keep quiet. Let's see where their own will lead them. All these things are grace of God. People should just calm down. Married that we walk, we walk. Two people meant to be will be no matter what you do. Just call on God's grace. God will be there to help you. So everybody, there's problem in marriage everywhere. But if you're married to white, Nigerian, Filipino, this. Just pray that God should give you a wonderful person. For me, love does not know color. All of us are one and all these things. Some of them are spiritual, some of them are behavioral too. If the person wants you, they will do everything possible to be with you. If they don't want you, they will start giving excuses. Tell me in the comment section what you think about that um, kind of man. Okay? And um, keep your 
questions coming. I'm going to help you to share it on my YouTube platform and so that you can get advice from people. Thank you so much guys for watching.